Hello and welcome to my 10th tutorial. In this tutorial, we are going to cover how to make a simple game in C++. Okay, let's start. Slide define and then array. Array, this time I'm going to multi dimensional array, this time I'm going to call matrix, and this dimension is equal to 10. 10, so 10 elements, 10 rows. But we should make it portable and define a constant values, constant variables, constant um, rows, it will be 10, and constant um, elements, it will be also 10. So we're going to replace it by rows and elements. Okay. First of all, we need to clear an array. I'm going to make a. Sh we are going to make a ship sunk in game. Uh, it's very interesting. Uh, we make a board of ten uh, rows and ten elements, and computer imagines, for example, ten locations, um, and spawns ten ships on those locations. And you need to guess. There are those ships you can also surrender if you don't want to guess anymore. So let's make a first function that will clear our uh, multidimensional array. Uh, zero will represent the blank spot and uh, number one will represent uh, a ship on that position. Number two will be a ship that's already sunk. It's already sunk. Uh, okay, so let's make a function uh, with no return var wa value. Uh, it's going to be a void function. I'm going to call it clear. The clear function will loop through an array, like I've explained multidimensional array in previous tutorials, to rows until. And point j equals to zero until j is smaller than elements, and some people like to call them columns. And we are going to clear the matrix by doing this: matrix at position i, so row i element j is going to be equal to zero. This will clear an array, we are also going to sh and make a function to show an array, no return value also, and call it show. It's the same code, just a little bit modified. We are not going to set the value, we are going to print the value. The matrix. And the blank. Space, so you can see it nicely, and we need a new line to break between rows. Okay, this will work neatly. So we call the clear, we call the show, run the program, and you're going to see a blank array. It's also interesting. Oh, this is uh, you can change the size from here. For example, we want 5 times 5 matrix, and you get what you want. We are also going to define an integer value, that a variable that will hold um, how many tanks are in the game. So, max, not tanks, uh, sorry, uh, ships. Max ships is going to be 10, for example. You can also change that from your code. Constant values like this, constant, cannot be changed within a program. They can only be changed for compiling from the code. It's similar to define. But it's not the same terminology. So we have these two functions. Functions. We need to create a function that will put the ship in random location. So let's make it. It also doesn't need to return 
variable on any value we need to call it um, set ships oops typo and what should we do we should um, make a while loop so uh, make first a variable define a variable that will hold the current uh, number of uh, spawned ships so we can, I'm going to call it s and it will have zero and uh, we should um, uh, okay uh, let's do it like this we should generate random numbers but we if we get um, for example a location that has uh, the same that has already a ship on it we should not increase the s variable s variable represent the number of ships we spawn so while um, so while s is smaller um, than max ships s is smaller than max ships we are going to add ships in random locations so define x yes we'll get the value variable x we'll get the value random random value to from 0 to 9 and y will also get the value from 0 to 9 and we are going to check if a matrix at position x uh, position y uh, does not contain uh, isn't equal to 1 so we don't have a ship at that position we are going to add a ship at that point to increase the S counter and set ship at that position so this would work but we sh I should l replace mm, these numbers with uh, the constant variables that I defined so rows and elements elements so we can have portability in our application if we change this we get different values and um, they should spawn the ships so let's try it we're going to clear show the array then set ships and show the array again but I should make a little separator here so we see the difference in those two arrays as you can see we have one two three four five six seven eight nine and ten ten ships as we expected and now we are going to make a guessing function it will be a boolean type and it will return if the ship is sunk or not so if we guess the location or no or, or uh, if we miss the ship so let's call it attack and it will have two parameters x and y x will be the row number y will be the element id so it's a simple function that checks matrix of x and y is equal to one you're going to put that uh, I need this. We are going to set that position to be 2 and to return true. Otherwise, it will return false. So, no 
ship at that position. And we also need the function for counting the number of ships. It will be integer time. It will return an integer, and I'm going to call it uh, number of ships. Number of ships. And it's similar. Mm, I can use this. It's better. Define a value C, it will be zero at first, and it will be a counter for ships. So if uh, matrix at position I and J is equal to one, okay, it will increase the counter. And at the end of the function, we are going to return the counter variable, the value of counter variable. And then this will work neatly, I guess. So set ships show. We can try attack uh, one one, and number of left uh, ships is number of ships. Sorry for typing the errors, I'm a little bit nervous, I don't know why. Okay, so I have some other. So, I've guessed, uh, I guess, one ship, or I did not guess. Hmm. Maybe I have a little bug here. I guess I've made. Hmm. I've guessed the ship at one location, 1-1, one, one. so for now it does not um, show, it's not a real random location, it will be the same, I forgot to change the, uh, I changed the matrix is xy is equal to 1, which is set it to 2, and I don't know, 0, zero one, one. Uh, and, um, I, I forgot uh, to show again the matrix after after attacking. So you see, we've got one ship here. So to make it fully randomized, we need to use a strand function. We're going to call it at the beginning of our program a strand. For C, we are going to use time. So, clear. Then, we are, we are not going to show the table. I'm going to delete this for now. And while we are going to break the loop using the break command to exit the while loop while one the computer is going to ask us um, uh, please input location uh, I don't need to end line here and we are going to pull for values um, position 1 and position 2 and I'm also going to define those positions position 1 position 2 also I need um, to set the ships as you can see to be clear the array the dimensional array set ships at random locations define two positions prompt for user for entering two positions and then we're going to give feedback if um, we've got the ship or we don't. We didn't guess the location or we guessed the location of the ship. So if attack is successful at position 1, position 2, we're going to say 
you got me. Oh, very nice. I can, I can have a lot of imagination. And sorry, no ship at that position. And line, and this should work neatly. But we also need to print number of ships left. Number of ships left, and we are going to print the call the number of ships and end line. If we run this program, please notification. I'm going to guess one one. Sorry, no ships. Number of ships left. Then two two no three three no four four no five five six six seven seven. Eight eight nine nine zero zero nope I don't feel luck once zero yeah I've guessed one ship as you can see number of ships left is nine it works but we need to quit the game because it will get boring if someone tries and tries and don't get any ship so let's uh, make one boolean uh, or we need to define character value that will call epsilon and n and if um, I'm going to call it uh, prompt and we're going to say do you want to surrender and have this yes or no and remove from the user for entering that if prompt is equal to yes we are just going to break loop and after a loop, we are going to going to show the array. So game over. And uh, show everything. Let's try. It. Implication one one, and I'm going to surrender. I'm I'm not going to surrender. Okay, input another location two two no. I'm not going to surrender three three no. I'm going to surrender. Okay, game over, and we see the position of ships. And that's a simple game that I promised. I hope you enjoyed in making this. Here's the code once again. Thanks for watching and please subscribe, see you soon.